Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. So today is going to be a very simple video. I don't have a lot of time this week, but I want to do a very short kind of a watercolor tip video. So today I want to answer a question that has been coming my way for quite a long time now and is how do I avoid paint getting too watery? And because when you are painting with very watery paint all the time, you're painting gets very transparent and if you have too many transparent layers your painting start to get dirty so let's okay. give you an example so let's say i mix a color right here like a nice blue color okay so nice blue color i'll add a little bit purple to it just so that you can see a little bit of color differences okay i'll wash my brush and then i'm going to mix like an orange color right here. So I got two colors. I pre-mix the two colors. So, and now I'm going to paint with this color. So here I paint with this. It's a very watery mixture, perfectly fine for a first wash. And now if I want to wash my brush, and I just want to grab another color here and I come back to it. Look how transparent it is. Looks how watery that is. Okay. I just paint on that. It's just really, really weak. And now I want to come back to my previous purple color. I wash my brush, I load up the paint and I paint again. It's just getting more and more watery. Okay. And if I want to try to add some more water to it on the side very soon you're gonna see there's going to be some bad cauliflower edges see how weak that is and the reason is that when you wash your brush like that see how much water is dripping out and if i squeeze my brush you can see how much water is coming out of my brush especially like mud brush it holds up a lot of water so what I do is when I wash my brush and I want to get rid of some of the water, I'll go through my towel, my old rag a couple times. And then now my brush is nice and dry. Then I go back to the painting, to the palette and load up the color that I mix and come back to paint. Okay. Let's say I mix a color right here. Okay, I wash my brush, I dry my brush a little bit, and I'll add some orange color here. Now, these colors look nice and intense, like look at that color here. And I wash my brush, I dry my brush, and I load up this mixture that I mix, and I paint it on. Okay, look at those mixtures, a lot more nice and intense. This compares to that. Now, if I wash my brush without drying my brush and I just go for the mixture and I just paint that again, look how watery that become. And if I wash my brush again and without drying my brush and I just load up the orange that was so intense and beautiful, now I will paint it becomes super watery now that is fine if you're doing a glazing or something but if you really want your paint to show you really need to dry your brush and if you look at what i paint in the beginning of the video i mix a very transparent wash and i paint it in and i go back and wash my brush and with all that moisture build up on my brush i didn't dry my brush and i go to my palette and might dig up the same color and with the extra water in my brush i paint this on the side and look what happened the wash become too watery what i painted is even more watery than my initial wash and then it started to have this bad cauliflower edges so the wash doesn't look clean anymore so it's very very important that you dry your brush same thing for a smaller brush i'm going to use my smaller synthetic kolinsky brush I'm just gonna paint a blue color on it, nice and intense, look at that, okay? And I wash my brush, clean my brush, and then get my moisture out. And now I dig to some orange mixture, 
And I'm painting on the side here. Same thing, nice and intense. Very, very nice. Now if I want to go back to blue, and if I wash my brush, and without drying it, I just take back to this pile. Okay, even if I add a little bit more paint to it, look the difference between these two. And now if I wash my brush, and I just go back to the orange, now I'm diluting this mixture, and I paint it in, just look how watery that is. So it's very, very important, you wash your brush, and you dry it a little bit with your rag. You can use paper towel, or you can use an old dirty rag like mine, or you can use sponge, whatever it is. Just to have something that can soak up your exceeding water in your brush. Okay, just do this one simple action and I promise you, you are able to control the wetness of your brush and your mixture a lot better. Hope you enjoyed today's very quick tip video. If you like my channel, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch more of my painting demo. I have a lot more painting demos in my channel, so go check them out. And I will see you guys again very soon. Stay safe and stay healthy.